hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a video on my hair talking all about my blonde hair i'm not going to be showing you guys how i like wash and straighten my hair because i am terrible at straightening my, straightening my hair i'm going to show you guys some of the products that i use when i do straighten my hair or talk about some of the products when i get my hair straightened um but for the most part i do not do straightening myself if anything i'll wash my hair you know and then i'll I'll style it when it's curly and stuff like that but i do not do my own hair when i straighten it i straightened my hair one time and i did not like it i didn't like how it came out so i'm not gonna like do a whole video on it if i didn't like it you know what i mean like that's not fair to you guys because you guys want to see how I get it like this, right? When I get my hair straightened, I go to the salon and I have a professional do it um, because I just feel like personally it comes out a lot better and it is in a lot better condition when I go get it done. I do want to talk about some of my favorite products that I have been using on my hair as well as some oldie but goodie products that I wanted to mention. Um, just some things that have been helping me with my hair since it's been blonde. Blonde hair, for those of you who are wondering, is a lot of maintenance. It is not really it's not really a lot of maintenance per se it's just a lot of upkeep and it takes a lot more thinking and strategic uh treatment because of the nature of the hair after you have basically stripped all of the color out i'm gonna be straight up with you going blonde is damaging there's no way to go blonde without damaging your hair now whether that damage is visible or not is totally up to whoever does your hair whoever processes it um that will determine how damaged your hair comes out looking and feeling my hair may not look damaged but it is oh trust me anytime you open up the hair cuticle to strip the color out you are damaging it because you're removing the color from your hair. Your hair is not going to be the same after that. There's just no way. That's like cutting, it's like cutting your arm open and then getting stitches. I mean, yeah, sure, your arm can still function, but you have these stitches now. You can't really avoid damaging your hair. And I knew that going into this and I wasn't really afraid of damaging my hair and I didn't really care about damaging my hair because it's hair and it's short so it'll grow back. I can just cut it off if it looks trash and I can grow it back, whatever. The only issue with that is when you're trying to upkeep blonde, you have to be very, very careful with how you do your hair. You can't just be as carefree or at least I can't be as carefree as I used to be when it comes to my hair. So I have to take a lot more precaution when it comes to what products I use and how I go about using those products. So usually when I wash my hair in the past, my hair was black um, or dark brown. I didn't have to worry about moisture as much because my hair was in pretty good condition. The only thing I ever really worried about when my hair was its natural color was my scalp. I had to worry about making sure my scalp was um, not dry because I have really bad dry scalp, I have really bad dandruff. Now I have to worry about my scalp and the entirety of my head itself, making sure there's enough moisture in it. So I'm gonna show you the products that I use. So for moisture, the best thing to do would be to condition. Condition, 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 deep condition, leave-in condition, oil, all types of condition you want to be able to retain the moisture and you also want to be able to rebuild anything that's been broken deep conditioning as well as oils and things like that it will like smooth the hair shaft so that even though it's been like open and split open you won't have like split ends and stuff because it'll like smooth it out for you so the first thing i want to talk about is a deep conditioner you need to have a deep conditioner in your life preferably a deep repair mask anything that says repair on it i've tried a lot of different deep conditioning masks i feel like i've since i've tried so many they all start to run together and seem the same to me um but what i gravitate towards is products that don't have a lot of extra ingredients products that are not full of parabens and sulfates and all that stuff that strips your hair of moisture um because a lot of deep conditioners while they say they're going to repair your hair do have parabens and sulfates and all of those things that can still potentially damage your hair. The thing about a lot of products is when you go to like a Sally's or a grocery store or anything like that and you buy a deep conditioner, it's gonna have like extra additives in there so that it can extend the shelf life of the product. So a lot of times you're not really getting the best, the best quality. Um, and so I try to lean towards stuff that has the best quality, especially because my hair is blonde. I'm trying to take as much precaution as possible. Lately, I've been trying the Briogeo, Don't Despair, 
repair deep conditioning mask and this mask is just a deep conditioning mask of course you use this after you shampoo you massage it into your hair you leave it on for about five to ten minutes before you rinse it out because when you're in the shower the water is warm your hair cuticle will open up and then when you put the deep conditioning mask on and kind of repair the hair make it slick you, it's preferred that you rinse it out with cooler water um, so I do a lot of rinsing with cool water and I hate it but you got to do it when your hair is blonde and close cuticle up so that your hair will be smooth and silky and shiny and soft i just started using this just recently i've only had it for a couple weeks now it makes my hair really really soft a lot of products don't i noticed that when you wash them out and then you touch your hair afterwards it's like nah. you can't really feel the difference um but i like to feel stuff and i love when products make my hair feel softer and it's said that this product is supposed to reduce breakage by 80 percent after just three uses so i mean that helps as well because what i notice is when i comb my hair um sometimes i'll see hair coming out but my hair does shed more now that it is um, blonde because it's very, very fragile. So this product helps to reduce the fragileness. It helps to keep your hair strong and it restores the hydration and it increases your hair's resilience. It contains rosehip oil, algae extract, B vitamins, and almond oil. And those ingredients help to reduce frizz, retain moisture. Um, it helps to strengthen the hair and just overall make the hair a lot more soft and enjoyable to be on your head you know i usually wash my hair once a week once every two weeks when my hair is straightened i do not i try not to do too much washing because that kind of like strips the oils and stuff from your hair and makes your hair even more dry the best way to do a deep condition is to sit under the dryer put a plastic cap over your head and sit under the dryer one thing that i like to do is put the plastic cap on my head and like leave it on for like an hour and then wash it out if you have time. If you don't have time for that, just do it in the shower. But my mom always told me that whenever you get a product, rub it in your fingers, put it on like the back of your hand and like rub it in to the, your skin. And anytime you feel it on your skin, if it's sticky, um, that's not good. Like if it's, it's a sticky product, if it doesn't like feel moisturizing on your hand, it's probably not gonna moisturize your hair. It honestly feels like a really nice body butter. So I really like that and I was like, yeah, that's gonna work for my hair. You wanna touch your stuff, guys. Touch your stuff and see what it does for you. It's free of sulfate, parabens, silicones, and any harsh chemicals. Also gluten-free and cruelty-free. So, I mean, it's probably the best quality of product that you can use. So yeah, that is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Mask. Yeah. It's really, really good. You guys should try it out. If you guys have tried Briogeo, let me know and let me know what you think about this product and if you like it or not. Along with my conditioner, I like to do a little bit of color treatment. I don't like to do a ton of color treatment because I've noticed that color treating your hair when it's blonde, it's a little bit drying. Everything is drying. I already have enough dryage as is. So the only thing that I use to touch up my color in between toning or you know lightening my hair, which I haven't done in a long time, um, is the conditioning shampoo. This is just the generic Sally's one. Conditioning purple shampoo. Takes away the yellow, adds sparkle and shine. This one is supposed to be just like the Clairol Shimmer Lights. It is a purple shampoo. That's what it looks like. And I use this on my hair, um, not every time that I wash it, but I try to use it pretty regularly because if I don't, my hair comes out super, super brassy. I don't know why I just put this on my hand. No, I don't know what to do with it. But yeah, if I don't, my hair will be super, super brassy. So I try to use products that keep that um, yellow brassiness balanced in my hair um, without doing anything that's too harsh. I don't want to have to tone it all the time because although toner is not like a lightener, it doesn't strip your hair. It is a process. You have to use a developer with it. And anytime you use a developer on your hair, you're gonna be opening up that cuticle again. So I don't wanna have to keep opening and closing my cuticle all the time because, or chemically opening and closing my cuticle because I just feel like that's really damaging. When I do tone my hair, I use the Wella Color Charm Toner in the color T. 14, I believe the last one I used was the t14 that was the one that got my hair super super gray and I mixed in Two drops of the cooling violet and that's what made it like really silver um, 
after washing my hair like two to three times, it come it went back to this um, blonde color again, but it was not nearly as orangey or yellowy. So I also like to use Paul Mitchell leave-in. You guys know I love Paul Mitchell leave Paul Mitchell leave-in conditioner. I tell you guys about this conditioner all the time. I love this leave-in. It's amazing. Um, I make sure to do a leave-in all the time. Like no matter what I do to my hair, I always use leave-in conditioner. Something else that my old hairstylist recommended for me was vitamin E oil. This is from Trader Joe's and I use this oil on my hair when it feels really, really dry. What it does is it helps to seal that cuticle as well so that your hair is not gonna be frizzy. Anytime your cuticle is still open, your hair is gonna be frizzy. It's gonna um, look like it's dry. It's gonna look very coarse. Vitamin E oil is also really just good for your skin and your hair in general. It's just a really good oil to use. Of course, you guys know about this Vita Goods. This is the Vita Goods um, shampooing brush and it vibrates and you circle it throughout your head and get all of the dandruff up it like massages your scalp and really helps to invigorate it so it increases the blood flow in your scalp area and that way your hair will grow faster not that i need that because i still want to keep my hair short to get rid of any dandruff any itchiness dryness um and i really love that brush it just feels so good on my scalp if anything it just makes my scalp feel amazing because i try not to scratch my head all the time guys like my head be itching like crazy love 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 and the last thing that i like to use on my hair this has nothing to do with blonde i just like to mention it this is the blueberry bliss control paste this is what i use on my edges to look like i feel like your edges are what makes or breaks your hairstyle so um i like this control paste because it really really helps to slick it on my edges and make my hair look beautiful so those are all of the products that I've really been loving for my blonde hair um, like I said I try not to do too much to my hair on my own um, because I've noticed that it's just a lot better when I go get it done I mean that's just the fact of the matter it's one that I go to on the regular is the dart salon in Milwaukee so if you go to dart salon say hey to Shelly what's up Shelly Shelly uses Miel organics on me the products she used on my hair worked really well they made my hair really soft um, so that's what she uses and I know she uses the cheese silk infusion when she straightens my hair um, But if you are in the Chicago area and you can't go all the way up to Milwaukee, I have tried um, The beautiful salon which is amazing. I went there the other day for the first time and it was great I really love their service. Um, they're very knowledgeable about their work. I went to Nina Christmas. That was her name and um so yeah she did a really great job um since my hair is natural i try to make sure that i go to natural hair care salons people who specialize in natural hair um other than that i will talk to you guys in my next video i hope that you guys enjoyed this one if you guys like any more hair videos let me know and i'll do more for you but other than that i'll see you guys in my next video okay bye guys